Hello and welcome to weekly vlog number three? Three. Yeah, it's weekly vlog number three. It's actually, it's Monday, obviously. Um, it's quite late. It's like half seven. I haven't filmed all day. Basically, this morning I woke up and I had to finish my vlog from last week because I didn't get it done last night because I was so tired. Um, and then I was trying to get it to upload, but my internet is so slow here that it was saying it was going to take eight hours and it was just being ridiculous. And by this point, eight hours was past six o'clock when it's supposed to go up. Then I had to go and pick my dad and his wife because they'd been away. And I said I would bring them home because the trains are problems because of it being bank holiday. Took my laptop with me in the hope that they would have faster internet. Got back to theirs, uploaded it there. It uploaded so quickly that I didn't even get time to schedule it. And it went up before six o'clock. So it went up earlier, which was a good thing. And then they were like, do you want to stay for dinner? We're going to have a takeaway. So I stayed for dinner with them, had a takeaway. And now I'm back home. Been a bit all over the place. And I've not had a chance to kind of stop and film. And I didn't want to film at my dad's house. I've got to walk the dog. It's been raining all day, but now it's sunny. The weekly vlog has obviously gone up and you've all been so nice so far. So thank you so much again if you watched last week's and you left a comment or anything because it's just the best thing ever. Even my dad was reading some of the comments today and he loved it. Tonight I'm gonna walk the dog now and then I think I'm gonna come back and actually have a bath. I haven't had a bath in like a week and I really want a lush bath and a face mask. I also have to get the Disney vlog done because it's Tuesday tomorrow, so that's what I get done today. But I'm really sad now because I think there's only about three or four Disney World vlogs left. It's just, it's been my life for so long. But I am so excited to start sharing Disneyland Paris vlogs with you all. I've got Disneyland Paris vlogs from October last year when I went for Halloween, from January this year when I went to celebrate Christmas, and from March when I went for spring. So there's lots of Disney vlogs to come. It's bath time. These are the two boxes I've got lush stuff in. This one is non-bath bombs, this one is bath bombs. So I'm going to pick one of these. I'm running out. It's all the stuff I bought at Christmas in the Christmas sale. And it's all running out. Face mask time is back. And tonight's face mask is brought to you by Origins. Not sponsored just telling you what it is. This is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So it's time for the Father Christmas bath bomb to go in the bath. I think I've used this one before and you can't see it because it's covered by bubbles. I can't believe I'm vlogging like this when I probably look the worst I've ever looked. I had the nicest bath and the face mask that I used has made my skin feel amazing. It's very red because I scrubbed it off but it is so smooth and I'm gonna get some work done. I've got to get my vlog done before I go to bed. I looked in the DVD drawer and yep we had every Twilight film. Not surprised at myself but I'm gonna watch Breaking Dawn part two the last one to round off my watching them all again 333 the vlog is done uploading it's going to upload hopefully overnight fingers crossed there's no problems because i don't want a repeat of last week hello and welcome to what, wednesday tuesday tuesday i've bank holiday to throw me off i've spent all morning doing my Disney vlog, finished that up, that's gonna go up tonight, and doing some emails, and now I'm off into town. I think we're gonna go to Marks and Spencer's, me and my nan, do some food shopping. I think we actually might go to the crematorium to go put some flowers at my mum and my granddad's graves. They're not really graves, they're like little plots where their ashes are. I would do like a little food shop haul, because I know some people like that, and I'm really nosy and like seeing what other people bought from the food shop. Bought chicken and parmesan pasta, mozzarella sticks, my favorite, onion rings, mac and cheese bites. These things are insane. I'm actually gonna have these now because I haven't eaten anything at all today. Nan got Bakewell tart, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, scampi for Nan, parsnip for roast dinner, cucumber for Nan, carrots for roast dinner. Uh, Nan got eggs and cherry and blueberry sponge puddings. Strawberries. Nan will have this beef colour only. Got myself a profiterole dessert, which looks very good. Uh, some chicken, some like, super seedy bread. I like that bread. Salad, yogurts, my favourite macaroni and cheese. Buffalo chicken wings, they look good. Right, my favourite cookies, these ones are so nice. Um, crispy chicken, do not like cold storage for Nan. Literally heaven, like deep fried balls of mac and cheese and i'm gonna eat them all apparently watching a facebook live stream by buzzfeed of these guys trying to pop this massive balloon i think their facebook feed runs out in like five minutes so they're like really trying to blow it up so whilst this has been happening i've been just looking at disney world quotes i'm desperate to go back next year i don't know if it's gonna happen or not but i've been looking at quotes for ages and now i need to kind of just stop and walk away from it because i know what i'm like and i know i will get really obsessed Summarised, they couldn't pop it and the stream was running out so they just burst it. So that was like six minutes of my life I'm never gonna get back. It's now like nine-ish and I look really grey and like not good at all. Um, I've been working on like a trailer for Halloween vlogs which are the next set of Disney vlogs you're gonna get from me when the Orlando one's finished. So obviously I'm very behind with them but I've had so many Orlando ones. The next set of Disney vlogs you'll get from me when the Disney World one's finished very soon are Paris ones from Halloween last year. I was there for Halloween, went to the Halloween party, and I wanted to do like a little 
trailer style thing to kind of like give me a chance to kind of be a bit more creative with YouTube and to kind of show you what you're going to see. So I spent like a good four, no I've spent an hour working on that. It's half nine now, I haven't had dinner so I'm going to stop and go and have some dinner but I've been really enjoying doing it which is why I've like been doing it for so long because I was like I'll just do 20 minutes and see how I get along but it's like my first go at doing something like this. I'm going to have this because it says best results microwave, which means I can cook it really quickly. I'm having a work break and I'm catching up with my love's crispy s'more and having a crazy hot chocolate, which I need to put down because it's burning my hand. Hello and welcome to Wednesday. It's actually about five o'clock. I haven't filmed today yet because I've just been doing things and getting on with stuff. This morning I woke up to the window cleaners. It was all quite dramatic because my dog is not a fan of the window cleaner. Then I had to take Bertie to the vet. So he had to go for his yearly injection and like a health check thing i'm a massive needle like phobia person i was gonna say needle fan but that is the opposite of what i am so it's not easy when we go because bertie kind of picks up that i'm a bit anxious so i have to try really hard to kind of keep calm and the vets are so good because they know how i feel about needles and i know it seems so silly but it's just my biggest fear so we had that then he had his health check and i came back took him for a walk i've just been sitting on my laptop replying to emails and doing comments and stuff like that today it's now five o'clock and i've just put makeup on because i need to film a primark call tonight don't know whether to eat first or film first i'm gonna get hungry during filming so it's probably best if i eat first but today is may the 4th so it's star wars day may the 4th be with you and spotify has this cool star wars playlist with all the music from the films. I actually have been listening to this today. But if you play the song. Look at that, it's a lightsaber. How cool is that? Da, 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 da. I think for dinner, I'm gonna cook some of these and some of these and have like an adult grown up kids meal. Come back upstairs and I've curled my hair, but it just looks so crap today. I'm not having a good hair day. And now I'm gonna try and film my Primark haul, which I'm excited about because then I get to put everything away and start wearing it. The bad thing about doing a haul video is that you can't really use it. Well, you can, but like I don't really use stuff until I've shown it to you. I've just filmed my Primark haul, which I think went okay. I'm not too sure, but you should have seen it by now. Hopefully, it'll be up already before this vlog. I am on FaceTime to someone I haven't spoken to on FaceTime in a very long time. Are you ready for this? Drum roll, please. World's worst drum roll. Reveal yourself. It's a cushion. Da -da! Yay! It's Hello. Chelsea. Hello, nice to see you all. I just sat and spoke to Chelsea on FaceTime for about an hour, which was so lovely because she's been so busy lately and when she's not busy, I'm busy and we just haven't had time to really see or speak to each other at all over the past kind of few months because she's been doing a nursing degree, which has like taken over her whole life, understandably. Um, so we just haven't spent much time together. We, last time I saw her was in Paris in March and before that was like the start of December. So it's been quite like difficult being apart we haven't had time to speak as much so when we can it's just so lovely to just sit on facetime for an hour and a half whatever and just chat and catch up now i'm going to take all my makeup off and go downstairs and get on with some work it's about quarter past 10 and chelsea just made me laugh she was like it's probably like five o'clock for you in real world terms like you're gonna be awake for like another six hours getting work done which is so true hello and welcome to thursday quarter to one and i'm off into town to meet becca i'll make sure to link her below she is lovely and we met i think last week i'm sure we went for coffee but they've opened like a new dessert place in town that literally just sells desserts I'm pretty sure I think it's like waffles crepes that kind of stuff so we're gonna go and see if we can get a table there I think it's been quite busy because it's not properly opened but we'll see but I'm hungry and I could definitely eat dessert right now even though I've not had anything else today it is such a beautiful day outside I sat in the garden this morning with my dog and we played like I made him fetch the toys loads of times it's just so beautiful and it's put me in such a good mood it's also actually polling day today is that what you call it we get to vote today for London Mayor I'm gonna head down to the polling station and vote as well because I think it's very important that if you can vote that you do this is my polling card I don't think I have to take it with me me, but my dog got it so I have a good two-thirds of my polling card left <laughs> Mine arrived wrong, so it's coming so well. Um, Becca's looks amazing. This looks so good, but I don't like banana, but Becca's gonna enjoy it, so. I've got a milkshake, at least that arrived. It's taken about an hour and 50 minutes, but it is here. Look, unreal. Oh, it looks insane. <laughs> So I am home, I'm all like windswept and crazy haired today. I went to the dessert place with Becca and we had a really lovely time but it was like 
a bit crazy because it's a new opening. Very nice waffle. I very much enjoyed it. I did feel very sick afterwards though. Then I went to the polling station and I voted. Now it is six o'clock and I've just given Bertie his can't say the word because he knows what it means. And now I think I'm going to go and take him for a also can't say that word because he knows what it means. Sit down. Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> I think that's a yes. Whoa! When I was out today, I saw a UPS van. Is it UPS? I think it's UPS. Drive down my road. And I was like, I bet they're going to my house because I've left my house now. And I was walking to the end of the road, turned around, watched the man go up to my house. I got a little package slip saying I could go and pick it up. So I've come to pick it up. And I think it's a Barry M package. Quite excited to see what's inside here. This looks a bit, there is a crazy amount of all new Barry M makeup and nail stuff. I'm going to drive home and then we can look through all of this together. That parcel was from Barry M and it is their summer collection which is so cool and there is some really interesting stuff here so I'm going to show you. So first are these two strobe creams. Soft, easy to use strobe creams to kind of achieve really good highlighting. The one on the left is frosty pink and the one on the right is iced bronze. Left is the frosty pink and right is the bronze. They're really creamy and they are £4.49 each. Molten metal high gloss metallic effect finish nail paint. They're inspired by precious metals. Gold digger copper mine, bronzed bay, interesting, and silver lining. I really like these. 3 99 each. There are three new lip liner shades. They have numbers on them and they do have names. One of them is toast, one is rose, which I guess is this one, and one is blush. Definitely creamy. They feel quite nice. £2.99 each, so quite a bargain actually. Let's be clear, lip fixer. It's a magic liner that locks your lipstick in place, prevents feathering, sliding and budging, and it will go with any lip colour because it's completely clear. It's 3 99 Next are these two uh, moisturising lip oils. I used to work for Clarins and they were kind of the first to bring out lip oils and they were so popular but quite expensive. They're both 4 99 The one on the left is the berry one and it has the kind of really, really sheerest tint hint of a berry colour. The one on the right is just the clear coconut. They both smell like sweets. Brow powder called It's a Brow Thing. Easy to apply. Velvety smooth powder. Stick applicator. It's so different. I'm really excited to try this. Is $4.99. Lolly Gloss Nail Paints. They are sheer jelly gloss finishes. Provide a hint of colour that they're gorgeous on their own or layered up over each other. Create a stained glass effect. Pink candy. Purple pop. Orange Fizz and Cherry Drop. These are 3 99 each. Makeup bag that says contents, my face. I think that's so cute. And it's like a wipe clean material, which is so good because if something leaks and you don't have a wipe clean bag, it can be the worst thing. These are 6 99 and they come in a few different designs. Side and Chick, Bronzer, Blush and Highlighter Palette. It's £6.49 and I am excited to open it. Oh, interesting. So you've got a matte bronzer, a peachy kind of blush, a more pink blush, and then two kind of different highlighting shades, which is really cool. Last is four nail paints, two for boots and two for super drug. They're all limited edition, so you're going to have to grab them quick if you want them. And you have Golden Sands and Beachy Keen. And then you've got Festival Fever and Carnival Couture. And they are £3.99 each and these two are limited to boots and these two are limited to super drug. Thank you so much, Barry M, for sending me your summer collection. It all looks so lovely. I don't even know where to start with it. I love trying new beauty bits. It's one of my absolute favourite things to do. All of the stuff is actually out in super drug now and it is in boots on the 11th of May. Now it's time for me to head downstairs, turn on the laptop and get some work done. I've got to edit my Primark haul video for tomorrow. It's like two o'clock in the morning. All of my makeup's like smeared off. I'm really suffering with hay fever at the moment. I'm doing some work and now I'm gonna go to bed. Last night I actually fell asleep about half two, which is quite good for me. It's probably about an hour earlier than I have been. So if I can get to sleep kind of before three, I'll be really happy. Hello and welcome to Friday's part of vlog. It's not, it's like half past five. I've left it quite late to start. This morning I was working. I finished off some YouTube stuff for the video that's going up today, which was a Primark haul. Then I had to run some errands in town, like post office and boring stuff. Came back and I had an hour and a half long bath. It was amazing. Washed my hair. I've just put on some really like rubbish, quick makeup. And I'm off to pick up my cousin Bella. She's staying with us tonight. I'm going to get my nan from work as well and then bring them back here. I'm hoping for pizza for dinner. I didn't do liquid eyeliner today. It's like unlike me I always do liquid eyeliner, but I couldn't be bothered so I need to get dressed. I've got wet hair But I'm just gonna go out with it because I can't be bothered to dry it It's been a beautiful day as well I did spend some time with my dog in the garden like playing fetch and stuff and it was so warm It's been so lovely. Hopefully it stays this way fingers crossed. I am working tomorrow So it'll probably be the nicest day tomorrow when I have to go to the O2. Hello, it's much later now It's like 10 past 8 and I didn't take my camera out with me, which is so annoying. My hair is awful. It's still wet. I ran out from work and she was like 
we go to Pizza Express? So we went and got my cousin, and then we went to Pizza Express, which was lovely. I had Doval's Hollow Astra Pizza, I think, but without the onions, because I don't like onions. And now we're gonna go over the park, walk the dog. Late, it's like one o'clock in the morning. I curled my hair kind of really excessively in the hope that it will like drop overnight and look a bit better tomorrow. So it is like really ringletty at the moment. I haven't really vlogged much today. I've kind of been having a lot of family time this evening. I am working tomorrow night. It's a Brian Adams concert. Apparently it's supposed to be lovely weather as well again, which is really, really nice because this weather has just been so good. It is four o'clock and I am on my way to the O2 Arena. It's my first and only shift there this week. Obviously it's Saturday and you've watched the week, so you know I've not been there. I spent this morning basically just doing work, the usual stuff, nothing overly exciting. Walked my dog over the park, which was lovely because the family came round, so they were all there. I'm on a break, three guesses as to who I'm with. It's the work bestie. We're going to square pie, so I think we might have pie. Who knows? It is about one o'clock in the morning and I'm obviously home from work. I'm not really sure what's wrong with me, but I've come over feeling really quite down. Um, I just drove home and was just like, no, I feel a bit sad. And I don't know why, because nothing's happened. There's stuff that's kind of happening in my personal, personal life at the moment that is quite stressful and difficult. And I can't talk about it at the moment. If I can talk about it one day and I want to, then I will. But right now I can't. I don't really know what's wrong with me. It's crap because when I feel like this and I want to talk to someone, the person that I want to speak to would be my mum but I can't obviously speak to her. So it's just a bit difficult. Tomorrow's a new day. I think I need a good night's sleep. I really didn't sleep very well last night. I had a couple of really bad dreams. Hopefully I'll have a really good sleep tonight and I'll wake up in the morning feeling much better hello and happy sunday i am off to my auntie and uncle's house for a barbecue it's so hot today it's like 25 degrees at the moment i haven't got eyeliner on again because my eyes have been really bugging me with hay fever at the moment but apparently next week it's not going to be good weather so this could actually be like the only day of summer we get I actually got to take my laptop with me because i need to get some work done and edit this vlog and everything but yeah i'm gonna go and sit in the sun and eat some barbecue food Fetty, where's your ball go find your ball where is it he's too hot The feast has been prepared. The summer diet starts now. <laughs> I know, I was so excited. So we're back home and it is about, oh, it's 11 o'clock exactly. It's lovely to spend time with the family and enjoy the sun. I got a little bit red, not sunburnt, but I catch the sun quite quickly because I'm so pale. The food was so good. It was lovely to have a barbecue. I'm not too sure if the weather is going to stay like this. I think it's going to rain actually the next few days, so we will see. This is really random, but I think I mentioned in a weekly vlog that I like to hide videos on my subscriptions page, like how this says video hidden from feed, when I've watched them. And a couple of people said, how do I do that? So for example, I will open a video in a new tab so i like open it up there so it's going to go onto a new page and then once i've watched it i hover over the video and it comes up with these three dots click that click hide and it's gone that just makes it so much more clutter free for me so i can see everything that i've watched is gone and it just leaves me with the videos i haven't watched so for me personally that's how I like to do YouTube. It probably seems really a bit obsessive, but that way I know what I haven't seen because I don't like it when it just says viewed and everything when I've watched it. I'd rather it just disappeared. Also, I wanted to talk quickly about the possibility of a meetup. I don't really want to call it a meetup because I think that sounds a bit weird because I don't, I don't want to come across as like cocky or anything negative. But a few people have asked about organising some sort of meetup event, um, which is something I would love to do because obviously... I want to meet lots of you. I want to kind of organise something and I've said for a while that I would like to do that and a few people have said that they would like that as well. So I wanted to kind of mention it on here because I've talked about it on social media but not on here just to see if it's something that anyone would be interested in doing. I was thinking about literally just having like a massive picnic or something in Hyde Park. I was thinking kind of the end of August, probably a Saturday um, so people are around but literally just a Saturday in August probably just meeting up in Hyde Park and bringing food and sweets and stuff and everyone just like chilling and eating and enjoying the hopefully sunshine and stuff so if that's something that you would think could be fun or interested in let me know I don't want it to come across as like oh I want people to come to my meetup or anything but it's just something that could be really fun and like we can just sit and talk and chill and I'll get other people to come like other youtubers and if there's anyone else you want me to get there 
that you think I know, I can speak to them. So um, yeah, I didn't want it to come across as like a guys I'm having a meet up thing because it's just a potential of an idea um, and I hate that anyone would think of me talking about it in a negative way it's just some people have asked about it so I thought I would put it out there on YouTube and see if that's something that people would like and it could be really fun just to go and sort of chill and have fun and eat and stuff in Hyde Park and um, have a massive picnic anyway I'm gonna sign off this week's vlog here I hope you've enjoyed watching it as always let me know if you've watched to the end some of you have said that I should have like a word every week that you type if you watch to the end so I'm gonna actually ask a question this week because I think that's a bit different so if you have had a barbecue so far this year let me know in the comments if you've had one or not because was my first barbecue so that way I will know if you've watched the end if you tell me if you have or haven't had a barbecue thank you so much for watching my third weekly vlog they're like flying by now but I'm really enjoying doing it and I hope you're watching and finding it okay I'm sorry if it's a bit rubbish but I really appreciate your support and your likes and your comments it means the world to me all the time I honestly appreciate it so much and I love you guys so I'm going to sign off get this vlog edited and uh, do some work in bed and I'll see you very soon good night